so by now you should be familiar with all the controls and the way the game works in career mode right this is scenario 7 and the bad news is we are still working for that a-hole Dominic Myers the good news is for getting a gold medal on this it's easy actually getting bronze and silver though it's a bit questionably hard depends on how much you actually know about the gameplay so first things first the 90% uh, cleanliness of your habitat leaks so I remember one thing you need to do is put down water treatment units at the Gariel first where's the Gariel there we go the Gariel habitat and place them down in such a way that they don't negatively affect the guests you can weave the negative influence of them on the heat map so yeah see they don't negatively affect the guests then there's another one near the peacock or peafowl enclosure peacock peafowl whatever you want to call it it's right here see there's one more somewhere near the rhino enclosure Yeah, I put it somewhere here. See, and another thing you need to put one near the abandoned fortress habitat. It's an empty one for back then, but you'll see why. Just put one down somewhere here. Wait, I'll show you. I put it down here. See? And then go ahead and adopt all the baby elephants or rescue elephants or whatever you want to call it. They should be found in the reward section. And put them in the quarantine first. In the meantime, you can set about doing the habitat. You don't have to do much. Just place down the shelter, the enrichments and the feeding stations. That's it. And by the time they get out of quarantine, if your water treatment units are powered up, then you should get the first objective done. 90% cleanliness for all lakes. That being said, once you place them down, once you place the elephants down in this one, that's two of your objectives done. Now, the starting cash is a bit low in this scenario, like 12k or 14k, I guess. So, I guess half of it will be wasted on water treatment plants. And don't go about wasting the other half of it on building another separate habitat for elephants. Just use this one. Right here. The ruined fortress. There's already a gate here. You just have to connect the path. That's it. And keep walkways for guests to get a better view of the elephants. And that's it, I guess.
Once you get the elephants, your cash will rake in quite a lot, I must say. Then, you can already see the amount of cash I have after I started getting in the elephants. You should go up to 500k in about 30 minutes or 50 minutes. Then, place down a mechanic workshop right here. Or anywhere you want, for that matter. You just need a, a mechanic workshop and a research station. Yeah, this scenario doesn't have a research station, so you better place one down right here. Now, the next step is to Keep on researching on every single animal you have. Except the exhibit ones, the other ones. Hire a few vets and a few mechanics and the mechanics will research power. Researching power will unlock the solar panel. The research level 1 is already done. You already have the wind turbine which you can place at any time but I would recommend you don't do so until you unlock the silver medal I guess. Only do it when you are required in the gold one. Just keep researching the solar panel until then. As for the vets, just keep researching every habitat animal you have. And do not forget to place down the habitat boards, the habitat education boards, the habitat speakers and also also and this is a very important point here the peacocks will give you a literal pain in the ass. So keep an eye out for the numbers. Release them in the wild, the old ones. Or use contraceptives on them. What you, whatever you wish. Because this habitat is a bit small for them. And they poop everywhere. And then the habitat is at a cleanliness risk. Then they get sick. Then they have to be carried to the quarantine. The quarantine meter goes up. Then you can't adopt other animals because they need to be quarantined too before they can be set in any habitats. So you see it's a vicious cycle. Anyway, my point is just keep an eye on the peacocks and the numbers, that's it. Now if you want though, I mean if it's a matter of personal choice, you can place down another Gharial in the Gharial enclosure. It's up to you though. So, yeah. Because, like peacocks, the Gharial do reproduce quite quickly. You can see them. But unlike the peacocks, they are quite clean. So, you don't have to worry even if they reproduce. Get, just get a male gharial or a female gharial, whatever your the opposite to your default gharial is. Just get that gender of a better appeal and place them in. That should be it. As for the others, just keep them happy. Just keep their welfare in the green and. If you want, put down some exhibits. Now it all depends on your cash though and don't make the same mistakes as me. Don't make the same mistake I did right here. Don't place it right here. You'll see later. I'll tell you why later. Just don't make the same mistake as me.
place them near the entrance like I did here exhibits I mean and keep an eye on the numbers too now that you are done with all of that also also the springboks and the pronghorn antelopes here they only have females in that habitat so please so add up a male of each species pronghorn antelope and springbok and place them in the habitat after current after they pass the quarantine that being said all you got to do is play the waiting game now once you get the yearly shop profit it will take about a couple of years depending on your income i guess and your guest happiness so once you're done and you get a yearly shop profit of 11k that's the bronze done for you now for the silver ignore the first objective for the while and the bengal tiger habitat bengal tiger habitat is some bengal temple habitat is somewhere here not this one wait this one now i edited it quite a bit because the tigers were low on plants and coverage so this is basically it ex except the plants and stuff that was me so you have to place a barriers around it make a make it a habitat and i guess you get bengal tigers in animal trading or was it the rewards i don't remember right now but just check it guys once you get them just pl place them in quarantine and if they pass quarantine move them to this habitat and keep an eye on their welfare That's it then. That's this objective done for you. As of the escaped animals, you won't see much animals escaping from the pens. The only disadvantage of this scenario is that there are frequent power cuts and the electrified fences on the rhinos and the tapirs. They are the only two with the electrified fences, so you have to keep an eye on them, especially the tapirs. The rhinos don't escape much. But the tap is too, and the tap is are somewhere here. See, they do break out. They do damage the fence when the power's out. So you'll get a notification right here that the power's out and the barriers are about to be broken. As soon as you get that notification, pause the game, and then. box all the animals and get a mechanic on that barrier asap same goes for the rhinos if you have rhinos breaking out that is i fortunately didn't have rhinos breaking out it was only the tapirs so yeah that's done for you once it crosses 12 months you have to handle all escaped animals for 12 months that's it you can either do the emergency capture if they actually get out before you can react or just capture them normally by summoning a vet the yearly profit should all uh, increase at this point because of the elephants the elephants are the main cash grabbers you'll see see they are the ones with the most appeal and guests actually flock to see them that been said there's almost all your silver objectives done for the guest happiness to be 80 make sure you use this one right here 
the overview and the zoo over and in the zoo overview go to the guest panel there you see this if your education is in the red and that is why i told you to research on every habitat animal every single one of them hire as many vets as you can once you reach about 500k there's no stopping you you can easily handle the finances so just hire about 5 to 6 vets like i did Get them to research on every animal in the habitat. Every habitat animal you have. This should increase the efficiency of the education boards and speakers, which will further increase the education rating of the guests, leading to the guest rating to be 80. And you have to hold on to the 80 percent of the guest. Happiness for about six months and 900 guests in the zoo. If you have the elephants, you don't even need to worry about the guest number because they will keep increasing as time goes by. If you feel it's too slow, you can always use fast forward in this one. Only in this one. I wouldn't recommend that doing that. In the scenarios previous to this one. That being said, your silver is done. Now for the gold. Ignore the first one for the for the time being. And the different species in a single habitat. Let's do that first. Now. What I did was, I went to the animal market and I adopted a gems buck and two sable antelope. That's it. And I placed them in the antelope enclosure after dealing with them in the quarantine. So that was it for that requirement. The Himalayan black bear enclosure, you have to make it somewhere here. And you have to fill it with snow because they like cold temperatures and coolers. And the same thing, shelter, feeding stations, enrichments. Hire a keeper and you know set his work zone to this enclosure and that's it you're done also do the education speaker and board thing once you're done with that there's one more thing remaining the rescue animals now the rescue animals every other month after ge after getting the silver medal you will be given rescue animals in the reward section my f first rescue animals were the lemurs. Now keep in mind that I think they are not rescue animals. I mean the origin is questionable here. It is quite evident when Bernie, to uh, not Bernie, Dominic talks about them. So the res uh, the lemurs are placed in the mandrel habitat. I mean they both are simians so yeah it makes sense right one of them did die of starvation though because I don't know <coughs> as soon as I placed them in the habitat they were starved and while the others just went for the food this one climbed all the way up here and just sat there till it you know kicked the bucket The other rescue animal you will get is the Nile monitor. Now if you aren't as crazy as I am with the 
or should I say this pathways and walkways and food and drink courts and stuff you can make one right here or the one I told you about before right here I couldn't make one in this because I had put down the exhibits so I couldn't make a barrier around the steps so yeah make one right here if you want I made one right here And when you are done with placing them in the quarantine and getting them ready for the habitat, place them here. With the same thing as before, shelter, feeding stations and enrichments. That's it. Because you get three lemurs and two Nile monitors. So that's five species done. Now the yearly profit of 15,000 should be easy at this point at this point even if the gold the silver things has just ended you will get immediately get this 15,000 income yearly profit thing the last thing and this is the easiest one at this at this point in the scenario at the gold rating you should easily have about somewhere around 700k to 800k cash so just replace all the generators with solar generator and that is why I told you to research the power solar panels or the turbines ready and place them everywhere just don't worry about mechanics or it breaking down it's not scenario 5 mind you just place them everywhere see I placed even one right here no access to it I even placed one right on top of it see all it matters is powering the whole place up with renewable en energy and that means replacing all the standard generators with the solar panels and turbines now for the once inside the building though you have to put down solar panels because the turbines won't fit and then just fast forward the game once it crosses 12 years you have gold medaled it so congratulations on completing this scenario and let's just hope we'll be uh, rid of Dominic soon but after this scenario he does say that there is work to be done in, in one of his zoos in Brazil so yeah and I apologize if this video came out a bit late but yeah the scenario was a bit frustrating at first especially the guest happiness thing 280 do whatever it takes guys place down food stands drink stands information stands everything And more importantly, get the education rating up. Once you get the education rating up, the guest need automatically goes up to 80. Guest happiness, I mean. Also, and the most important point that I will repeat again is keeping an eye on those horny peacocks. They will reproduce like crazy and they will drive you crazy. Sometimes I think I have P PTSD from this peacock en enclosure. I never want to see a peacock again in my life. And I guess they will be available in the future scenarios anyway. That being said, it's that's all the tips I can give you. Just be patient with this one as always and do not panic if something goes wrong. If something does go wrong, I'm always available in the comment section. If you have any queries or FAQs. 
or you just get stuck somewhere. Just message me and I'll reply back as soon as possible. Right? That's it guys. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing this video and... Yeah, subscribe and comment if it helps you in any way. And before I close this video, I would like to take this opportunity to, t uh, opportunity to thank you for all the support you have given me on my Planet Zoo videos. It's been overwhelming, to be honest, and I'm really humbled and grateful for that. Just keep doing what you're doing. You guys are awesome. And if you do have queries or if you get stuck on a particular scenario, just comment me, comment on my videos. I'll help you in any way I can. <coughs> that being said, this is it for this video guys. Take care and please subscribe.